everybody, it's Julian and Evie. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to my home here in Santa Monica, California. It is part three of my quarterly series that I put out on my channel, my top 10 house plants. I'm so excited to go ahead and sit down and talk about a handful of my prize babies. Give this video a big thumbs up for Evie being a part of today's video. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. I'm really excited to share with you the beautiful babies that I've just been in love with. A handful of babies that I would love to have in my top 10 for today's video, including my beautiful Hoya Compacta. That's absolutely amazing. Along with a few other plants. But we're not gonna go ahead and feature them in today's video because I feel like they're gonna always be in my top 10 no matter what. And I do wanna share a few babies in today's spotlight that hasn't been on the channel for a hot minute and I want to go ahead and give them a little spotlight. Into there are a handful of babies in spring 2019 top 10 that made it in today's video but things like my string of hearts or my beautiful begonia maculata spotted as well as my hoya compacta those beautiful plants will always be in the top 10 and I just want to go ahead and give a few other babies a chance to shine in today's video. And also stay tuned because at the end of the video, I am going to be doing another giveaway. So two days ago, I highlighted top 10 succulents. I had a day or two to figure out what I wanted to go ahead and share today's video. And right off the bat, I want to go ahead and give a shout out to my beautiful Red Edge Peperomia. Now this beautiful baby is featured in today's thumbnail. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a spin so you can kind of see what it's looking like. It's absolutely stunning. If you haven't watched my Julian's Collective series featuring my Peperomias, go ahead and do so. I am a huge Peperomia collector and I love being able to have so many in my home. As far as for Peperomia goes, I wanna say this is one of the biggest Peperomias I own and this lives full time in my patio. It does need a cleaning, so maybe one of these days I'll go ahead and feature it in a clean with me video. Uh, but I really love this thing so much. As you can see, it is huge. I love the structure of this plant. It gives me jungle vibes. I think at one point this plant was living in my little plant gang next to my bed, but since it like took up so much space, I was like, you know what, you belong in the patio. And so far, so good. It is on the hardier side, so it is on that waxy side. This plant gets natural sunlighting in my patio, which is not really direct sunlight in my patio, thank goodness. I do have a big tree over my house. This plant is pretty easy to propagate. I did feature this on a Planting with Julian episode, Propagating from the Leaves. So anytime this plant has fallouts, I do propagate it, and I love being able to get babies from it. I think one or two of my subscribers also has babies from it. So if you are interested in this Peperomia and want a baby or two from it, I definitely don't mind. Reach out to me on a direct message, planting with Julian on Instagram. Like, take a look at this. Isn't this stunning? This Peperomia is common and not common. I've seen it in a handful of nurseries when I do my Come With Me series. And then sometimes I don't see it at all. So I guess it depends on the city and where you live. This might be a common plant or it might be a rare one. Um, but when I got this plant, which I don't even remember where I got it, when I think about it, I'm gonna have to think where I purchased this plant. But what I do know is this is one of my most longest standing Peperomias in my collection. And I am definitely never gonna give this plant up. I wanna say like my uh, variegated Peperomia obtusifolia and this one, they're like tied when it comes to my plant heart for Peperomias. I love that one so much, which you see next to my Tiffany Blue table a lot in my plant tours and maybe with my planting with Julian, you might see it peeped in the corner. Love that one a lot and I would feature that one in today's video, but I wanted to go ahead and spotlight my Red Edge Peperomia because I haven't talked about it in a while and this is truly one of my favorite Peperomias. So, spotlight goes to my pepper romeo red edge and it definitely needs a cleaning so stay tuned i'll definitely go ahead and give it some plant love in the near future so let's go ahead and talk about one of the newest babies i've recently acquired in my collection and this is a rare baby at least for me this is a raffidophora tetrasperma and this was part of my unboxing for 2019 this was definitely one of my rare uh, splurge of the year this cost me well over a hundred dollars i'm not mad at that this is a rare plant for me and one of my dream plants that i've wanted now for two years or so so it was fun for me to do the unboxing for the channel 
and this plant lives full time in my bathroom on my shelf and take a look at that do you see there's new growth here and new growth here which i was wondering when it was gonna pop out and give me new growth because it hasn't had any really movement since i've gotten the plant so now that i see this popping up it's definitely going to be featured for my pot of fame for the month of june um, but let me know if you have this plant um, i am definitely never going to give this plant up and even if it gets bigger i don't think i would even sell from it either it's one of those plants where if anything i would want the plant to be full and keep it this way or if there's any fallouts i would propagate it and keep it for myself and fill up the planter it's one of those so shout out to one of my newest babies in my collection another rare baby featured in today's top 10 i like that that i was able to go ahead and feature that for today's top so 10. here is another repeat offender i love this plant so much i had to feature it in today's video and also i wanted to give you guys a little update on how well it's doing so here is my variegated string of hearts now i think i have two other string of hearts and the heart sizes are different they all live in my bathroom believe it or not a lot of my dream plants live in my bathroom and my rare like i love so much plants live in my bathroom so this one is living in my bathroom and i really love this baby i got it in santa barbara with my variegated string of pearls also with my cactus fern that was a really good nursery and maybe i'll go back one day but all of this trails is new growth I want to see when it's going to really start trilling on me now this is one of those plants that if i do ever get fallouts or anything like that i'm going to keep it for me i don't think i ever want to sell any of this because it's considered rare where i live so in the near future if i ever have fallouts i'm going to propagate it and keep it for me put it back in this planter and make it more full so that's my variegated string of hearts which i haven't had very long either i purchased it this year here is another baby that is probably a repeat offender and that also lives in my bathroom this was my birthday wish list plant as you can see the theme this is my peperomia raindrop so another peperomia in my collection this one is considered rare where i live here in southern california and i think when i purchased this plant i've never seen it before or after so it's one of those rare plants that i came across in person i believe i got this one in west hollywood i love this thing so much it actually lives on my toilet and really loves being there i think with the humidity and also with the sun it's just like the perfect place for my pepper romeo raindrop every now and then my plants from my inside of my home do come out in my patio to get some natural sunlight but so far so good and both of these babies are living in 99 cents planters which i wish there were more i would love to get more because i think it's like the perfect aesthetic for any kind of plant but here's a little update as you can see lots of new growth here so this one is considered a slow grower i've had it now i want to say since august so four okay so it's like 10 months in my collection and so far putting out just a couple of leaves so i consider this a slow grower let me know if you have the pepper romeo raindrop and do you find it to also be rare in your city where you live uh, here we go with another rare baby which is another repeat offender and i was thinking about not featuring this baby in today's top 10 and giving a spotlight to another baby but this is one of my rare plants it's kind of like tie between the raffordifera tetrasperma this is my pink princess philodendron and also a wish list plant another rare baby. beer is its newest leaf that unfurled for me and this plant i think was my one plant that i purchased online last year believe it or not and so far it's doing so good like take a look at all of the new baby leaves popping through on the bottom i have a huge green soft spot for philodendrons and peperomias and hoyas you guys see that throughout my videos and anytime my rare babies give me new growth or movement i like to share them in my pot of fame and although i wanted to go ahead and feature a bunch of other babies again in today's video for today's top 10 i you know put it on the side for a few other but this one right here i think they're always going to be tied together and i'm always going to share them so i hope you guys don't mind seeing my pink princess philodendron again again these were wish list plants that i purchased online which i rarely do because i like getting my plants in person and 
with my channel I'm always going out to different retail spaces and finding babies on my own and I love the feeling to be able to pick and choose them in person and then bring them back to my collection so these are the rare moments well I'll go ahead and do some unboxing for the channel I not go without sharing a Hoya for my top 10 houseplants so here is my Hoya Obovada in all its glory take a look at it love this plant so much love the characteristic of this plant and I'm gonna probably figure out another way how to showcase this plant with like a better trellis so that it can be more upright if you guys are interested I do have propagated rooted babies in my greenhouse from this mother plant and I know a bunch of you guys also had purchased plant babies off of this mother plant and that's pretty cool to have real plant friends so this plant is doing really good again you can see little baby leaves here at the end here and also here so lots of new growth this one is a giver again Hoyas are slow growers but when they do give you growth they're just like the cutest things I'm never gonna take, I don't think I wanna take from this anymore. I love the fullness of this plant. The characteristic of this plant is really cool. This particular Hoya obovada lives on my wicker coffee table in my patio. And it's living in a sand pot that I got from Las Vegas. I've had this Hoya now, I wanna say, closing in, I wanna say two years or so, give or take. This was probably one of my original Hoyas that got me into Hoyas. And since then, well, you guys see my Hoya collection. It has grown tremendously. If you guys are interested in purchasing any babies from this mother plant, reach out to me, Planting with Julian, on Instagram. I love to go ahead and be plant friends with you. So I could not go ahead and do today's top 10 video without featuring this one, which was probably like a repeat plant baby that I featured in previous videos before. And take a look at the hearts up there. It's like doing a carry eye on me up there. But sound up down below if you have the obovada. Uh, for me, it's considered a common Hoya, uh, give or take. I do see them uh, often in plant nurseries and sometimes I don't see them at all. I, I want to say as far as for Hoyas, as far as for being a common Hoya, I want to say the Hoya Carnosa Crimson Princess and the Hoya Carnosa Tricolor are like my two most common Hoyas. I do come across as a common Hoya wherever I do my come with me videos. But the Hoya Obovada is like a give and take. Sometimes I see it often and sometimes I don't see it at all when Hoyas are available for sale. Is another new baby that I would like to go ahead and feature in today's top 10. And this is a beautiful Peperomia. Can you guys just take a moment for this one? I got this particular Peperomia, I want to say from West Hollywood. I love this thing so much and I want to keep it the way how it is. If there's any fallouts, I'll probably go ahead and propagate it. I'm sure it's probably easy to propagate as I see a lot of roots on the stems here. And I have it in a planter that I got from Arizona. And this lives in and out of my house. Sometimes I like keeping it on my shelf in my home. Sometimes I like having it in my patio. But this is considered a rare Peperomia for me. I've never seen this one before. It kind of looks similar to Carrie's Peperomia and I kind of question if it's the same one. A lot of new growths here, super, super cute. I just love the lushness of it all. It's so cute. And I'm waiting for it to give me some blooms which I don't see and it's kind of interesting because all of my peperomias in my bathroom I think are giving me rat tail blooms which is fun to think of so that is another baby in my home in today's top 10 that I recently purchased this year that just stole my heart right okay, away so now for some repeat offenders which I didn't want to do but I just I love them so much this is my beautiful philodendron panda and this is my second one of this plant. I do have my original philodendron panda, which is smaller than this, but I will do that. I will go ahead and repurchase a plant. If I see one thing different, I will go ahead and do that. So this is my largest philodendron panda. It lives on the top shelf of my thrifted shelf in my bathroom. Like, take a look at this, you guys. Like, lots of growth. Super, super stunning plant to look at. It's just such a fun plant. I'm gonna just leave it here while I talk about it. This might be one of my most favorite philodendrons. I will go ahead and try my best to gather up all of my philodendrons one day and do a collective video. 
Carrie does have a baby from this plant but other than that I don't think I ever want to take from my philodendron panda because they are special plants to me I want to consider this one a rare plant I definitely don't see it often and both of my philodendron pandas were the only ones I seen in person and I scooped it up right away I know I did see it in West Hollywood when I was filming with Catherine one day and I made her pick it up and she loves that plant a lot but other than that I haven't seen this in person so if you ever come across this philodendron and you are looking for a new house plant pick this one up it's a rare baby and as you can see it is taking up a lot of real estate now when I purchased this philodendron it was looking really crazy and I had to stake it up and now it's living its best plant life in my bathroom take a look at that isn't that such a fun plant jungle vibes I think tomorrow my grandma is gonna transplant it in one of those planters that I got in Gardena to give it more leg room which maybe it doesn't need but because it's so top heavy I'm gonna take it out of this planter which I got from Ontario California and give it more space and a heavier planter so it doesn't tip over so love that so much and here's another repeat baby another philodendron and this came from the same nursery that I went to and I love this in fact I have to switch this up because I see one of its leaves wanting to unfurl and it's velcroed in here so let me give it some room to come on out and then let's go ahead and velcro it back so I highly recommend getting velcro tape if you want to go ahead and style your plants you can always keep on reusing the same velcro tape so this is a really fun philodendron which I absolutely love. Take a look at that. This is a rare philodendron for me. I've never seen this in person ever and when I seen it, I picked it up right away. And it was also for me like a rescue just the way how it was living in the nursery that I picked it up at. It didn't look like this so I restyled it. It's doing so so good. There's a lot of new growth like here's a new leaf right here. Lots of new growth here. Let me get it up in the camera so you can see here. So here's a new leaf. So cute, such a giver. And then I also see this one here, which I took out from the Velcro tape. So that one's unfurling. And then on the top here, this one is also about to unfurl here. So such a giving plant, you guys. Like here's another one right here too. Like super, super cute. Sound off down below if you have this philodendron. I'll turn it behind so you can see what the aerial roots of, looks like. So this is just typical philodendron aerial roots. I can't believe I have this plant in my collection. This was featured in my spring 2019 top 10 and I had to feature it again and give you guys an update on what it looks like. And it's so crazy to think that a bunch of my favorite plants live in my bathroom and a bunch of rare plants actually in my collection living in my All bathroom. Right. I know you guys are probably not surprised, but this is my beautiful Tritoscantia, another type of plant that I collect. I have a huge Tritoscantia collection, so stay tuned. I will do a collective video. They're spread throughout my home. A bunch of them live in my bathroom. I know, I have 50 plants in my bathroom. So if you haven't watched that plant tour, go ahead and support the channel and watch it. So this Tritoscantia, uh, Catherine and I did a split on it. And I believe I got this in Canoga Park, if I'm not mistaken, in one of my come with me's. Like seriously, you guys, this plant is a trailer. It is so, so cute. And I gave it, I've seen this right away and I was like, I have to have it. And I think this was one of the Tredoscantias that really got me into wanting to collect them. Because I think when I seen this one, I did have a few. And I was like, kind of into it. And then this one stole my heart. And then since then, I've been really like, if I see one and I don't have that Tredoscantia, I have to get it. So maybe this one kicked it off. Um, I did a split with Catherine, so she has half of it. And hers lives in her hanging basket in her patio. I don't know if it's this trailer. And then all of the fallouts, I ended up propagating it in water and it's living in a whole new plastic planter on the windowsill of my bathroom and it's like a whole nother mother plant. So Tritoscantias are very fragile plants, meaning like I really don't want to touch them. Once they're planted up, that's going to be their forever home. But if there's any fallouts, like sometimes they might accidentally fall or when you're moving them around and there's fallouts, 
go ahead and just put those fallouts in water they even propagate on dirt preferably for me i like to propagate them in water because i can see the water roots and i feel like they give me roots quicker that way and you can have a whole new plant so that is going to round up today's top 10. i definitely could not include some peperomias philodendrons and some trailing babies Tritiscantias in today's top 10 of Hoyas I wanted to go ahead and highlight in today's video Of course my beautiful compacta Or my rare Hoyas that I unboxed this year My Kentiana And my Crinkle 8 Those are all my favorites I love my Hoyas so much But I just wanted to go ahead and just pick out a few Repeat babies as well as some new babies That haven't been featured in today's top 10 Grandma do you want to say hi in the background? Hi Grandma hi. Grandma is sweeping and cleaning the patio. So give this video a big thumbs up She will be featured in tomorrow's video in the clean with me We're gonna be featuring another Hoya that definitely needs some plant love in tomorrow's clean with me video So stay tuned grandma and Ebby will be on the channel tomorrow so Before I go ahead and wrap up today's video. Let's go ahead and do a plant friend shout out today's plant friend shout out was posted today by Nadine she says here, thank you for sharing. It's so great that you have plant friends to share your passion with. I don't have any friends who love plants as much as I do. Most just think I'm obsessive. Love your videos. Thanks so much for supporting the channel. And if you would like to be featured on my next plant friend shout out, leave a comment down below. Let's go ahead and talk about today's giveaway and the rules. So all of my giveaway rules are the same no matter what it is, when it is. You have to be subscribed to both of my channels. I love Julin, Miss Julin. Follow me on Instagram underscore Ella Julin, planting with Julin. Leave a comment down below the city, state, country that you live in and what is your current favorite dream plant, a house plant that you are wanting on your wish list that you would love to have in your collection. Sound off down below. I'm going to be picking a winner one week from the time this video goes live. It's open worldwide and I will be announcing the winner on my Instagram story, planting with Julin, and I'll reach out to you there in a direct message. So let's go ahead and talk about the giveaway. So I want to go ahead and give away another set of these towels. So this is the dish towels Catherine and I got and I absolutely love this print. I currently use this in my collection. I also use it during van life. So you'll have one of these as well as one of those cute succulent cacti washcloths. And in today's video, you are going to be winning one of these cactus glasses. And I also have cups like this that I drink out of and you might have seen it in my videos or two. But this is going to be for today's giveaway and I can't wait to send out this to one of you guys so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you're new welcome to the channel hit the bell and subscribe button to be notified on my daily uploads i'm probably around 500 videos by now when this video goes up live which is pretty cool to think if you're new welcome hit the subscribe button to be notified on my daily uploads give this video a big thumbs up sound off down below what did you think about my top 10 a bunch of babies that i wanted to go ahead and re-feature in today's video but I just kept a few of my dream babies in today's video that I always spotlight and then gave some new babies a chance to shine in today's video. So I hope you guys enjoy my quarterly series I put on the channel, my top 10 series. Stay tuned because I am going to branch out in my top 10 series. I'm going to be doing my top 10 largest plants in my collection as well as my top 10 priceless babies in my collection. I think that's what I'm going to do with my top 10 series. So stay tuned for that, but as far as my top 10, I will go ahead and do this when I come back from the Philippines in September. So we'll see where my plant babies stand, but I hope you guys enjoy my quarterly series. I'll see you guys tomorrow. You can find more on my blog at ilovejulian.blogspot.com. Until next time, aloha from all of my 400 plants here in Santa Monica, California. Bye!